All right, shalom, a praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the elders of GMS, much love to the brothers on the four corners of the planet, the elect, because that's who we're set up to wake up, and we're bringing this truth to the gospel, okay? We're bringing good tidings and telling them, look, telling the elect that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's, and we can see it in the prophecies, because they're coming to pass day by day, and we're soon to come upon this incident as you may say, the um, whatever false flag that's about to happen. So we're about to get into the time of Jacob's trouble. So the spirit jumped on me to make a video just because, um, you know, the, the, the deliverance is going to come through. The, the first thing is going to come through knowing the truth and the understanding of the, of the Bible and knowing the Most High's name and his son's name and, and professing that, okay? So like you. Also, the, the deliverance is going to come through these chariots, these, the so-called UFOs, as Esau may call them, or these other, these heathens may call them. But we know them to be the chariots of the Lord and the angels of the Most High ride in those ships, man. Okay, but those are our deliverance out of this place. But right now, that they're starting to show themselves more and more and more, because it says that they shall enter into the house of the thief. Who's the house of the thief? Esau and these other nations. All right, so now they're showing themselves more and more, and you also have so-called Esau and their drones out here. They're also going to try to uh, use them to fool the people. They got Project Blue Beam. All these things are going to be happening. That's why we have to have the knowledge and we have to have the faith in this truth, because that's what's going to stable us in these these crazy times that are coming upon us. So um, the chariots are, sh are showing themselves more and more often. So. I figured I'd just try to do a little lesson on it, not nothing too big, because the elders have went into it, and brothers have went into it beautifully, so the videos are out there, but this is just a quick update on some of the chairs that have shown themselves. This is video from 2008, okay, about a, I think it's, it's correct, they might have seen, we, he seems like an it's correct, don't know, but uh, we'll play this video and we'll get into the scriptures. In the morning about 7.15, 7.20, the latest that I could recall, on that particular day, April 11th, 2008, uh, I normally come over from upstairs uh, straight to my kitchen. I uh, tried to get something here for my dogs, but I had two dogs. I'd like to feed them something. Good doggy. Come and get it. You're a good doggy. Uh, I was feeding my dogs right here. And all of a sudden, you know, turning towards, you know, so I can each other. the horizon, towards the house and the, the pine tree, I noticed something that's uh, not out of, uh, something that's out of the ordinary. Uh, like a speck of uh, something dark. And I, I focused myself, and I said, I, I, I kind of, uh, I looked at it for a while, and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. So what I did, I ran inside to my house. I had the camera, my video camera, sitting there by the TV. And I grabbed it real quick, because I had used it on Easter Sunday with my family. And I, I let it sit right there for a while. So what I did, I brought the camera. And, and the dog, Shurito here, he was here, as well as the other dog, and, and when I noticed the, the you know, the, the object, I, I grabbed my camera immediately, and, and I started to uh, videotape uh, from that angle, but he was growling, he was like, and I said, and I just patted him, but I couldn't talk. I didn't know what to say, I, I was just speechless like this thing. So, what came to my mind, videotape, videotape, keep the camera going. So uh, I'm out here, and I'm videotaping, and I'm trying to hold on to the dog. And uh, when I noticed the object move, uh, either my hand shaked a little bit, and I felt some sensation, something, but I, I was just 
to chop. You know, I didn't know what was going on. It looked something like round, and it had something at the bottom that kind of shiny, but I, I couldn't tell, so I got my camera. Real quick, um, this is the book of Ezekiel 1, verse 16, and it says, The appearance of the wheels and their works was like unto the color of barrel, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their works was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. All right, so he's describing right now, as you can see, he's describing a round object, and it says that the one, the top part was moving, and the bottom part was almost uh, stationary. If I'm, that's what I'm trying to take out of what he's saying. Okay, you brothers do your own examination, but he's saying, as you can see, the object is fixed, a wheel within the middle of another wheel. And I zoomed in. That's when I noticed the top part was either going around it looked like and then at one time he did this but when he did that my camera uh captured it but something happened you know i couldn't i couldn't keep going and and then the object what he did it went out and then it stopped and then it, it went like this and then it went up and came all the way culmina precisamente con esa afirmación tan extraordinaria e inclusive las circunstancias que se dan al estar filmando ese tipo de interferencia que bueno rico en muchos elementos de investigación so that's how you know it wasn't type of um, it wasn't a drone back then because uh, it had interference with the camera and a lot of people that say they capture UFOs to, for my knowledge since I've been studying UFOs that it affects the technology or affects the electronics to where the battery will run dry or the um, the camera like you said will distort okay that's because there's actually you know what kind of field I don't know the fullness of it but I'm just saying that something that's happening between the ship and the electronics as we know that the ships can turn on electronics in the nuclear silos and the nuclear facilities we know that to be true so with these ships, we know that this cannot be a drone or maybe some kind of false sighting, all right? Because things that are happening that are matching up to a lot of other sightings. The camera's having technical difficulties filming the object, all right? That's why one thing I just wanted to point out. I mean, this incident here, uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not used to this. Uh, if people say, we saw the video, but where's your voice say something? Well, I'll be honest, I wanted to say something, but I couldn't. Even the dogs were not saying, uh, they, they normally bark, like, whoa, whoa, but they said it for just, mm, like, trying to bark, but they couldn't. I had the same thing. Alright, so I wanted to point out, he said the dogs were even affected by this. So, you know, dogs are quick to bark at cars, they're quick to bark at airplanes, things that they don't understand but are man-made, okay? This dog was even affected by the situation that was going on, and the man did also. So I wanted to point out a scripture. This is the book of Luke 2, verse um, 9, and it says, we'll start at 8, and it says, and there, and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid and the word sore means greatly greatly afraid all right so when this is a situation that I'm tying in the scriptures that when men have seen the angels or seen the ships of the angels that they they're afraid they're nervous because they're frightful things, man. They're they're unexplainable, especially back then when you don't see no crafts flying. Like I just read, it says, Hello, the angels of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. It came from where? The sky. Alright? So now that's how I'm trying to tie in with this video from 2008, before I show the next one. But we'll finish this up. I, I, I was just telling in my mind, quiet, quiet. That thing, like if it was just, just sending a signal to me, like, don't move, don't say anything, just watch, and and I had that little feeling, you know. Now that's probably me, but you know what? 
I, I don't see that every day. So the only thing that I did, get the camera, videotape. The sky that morning had a little bit of fog and a little bit of mist. Uh, they called uh, dew, early morning dew. So I just got the camera. I, I couldn't focus that good. I couldn't. I could only zoom in because of my finger on top, you know, but I couldn't, you know, focus everything. So the way the video turned out was, you know, the object and, and, and the sky, no clouds that morning. It was just kind of foggy. All right, so with that, we're going to go to the next video. All right, this is a recent video that was shot November 20. Uh, it was shot before, I think, maybe about November 22nd or something around there or another. But uh, around that time, this video was shot. But now that this is an anal analyzation of the video, closer. All right, and I'm gonna show in this video that this UFO got pretty close. All right, that's why it says new military drone or alien craft. And we'll go into that. You're not. I'm not saying that it is. I'm not saying that it ain't. I'm just putting it. All I can do is tie it into the scripture. That's all I can do. And, and and go by faith, okay? Because that's what you got, you brothers got to have in these last days. All right. Okay, let me get put it in HD. And um, for you guys that think that's CGI, um, if you've seen right here, watch in the holes, okay? Watch the holes and the sun that shines through the holes and hits the, the mag... I'm, I don't want to say magnetic, but whatever this I, whatever this is in here, it's hidden. So watch the sunlight go in and out of there. You see how the lighting didn't change? The the, the lighting up from the outside sun was coming in there. That was, the, the dark part and the light was changing. pause it there and, um, we'll get into this uh, we'll pause it there now went into the blue letter and uh, went to Ezekiel we'll go back um, went to Ezekiel 1 and 18 alright we'll start at Ezekiel 15 and we'll read down it says, Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their works was like unto the color of beryl, and they four had one likeness, and, the, and, the, and their appearance and their works was as it were a wheel within the middle of the wheel. And when they went, they went upon their four sides. They turned not when they went. That means it defied aerodynamics, because... On this picture right here, you can't see a nose. You can't tell me what's the nose, what's the tail, where's the uh, the, the rear flap. None. I mean, because that's what modern aviation goes by when some they want to make a flying object or flying flying craft. This one, you just turn which way. There's no kind of the real front head. It can. It, that's why it says turn not upon their sides. Okay, that's the best of my understanding. I'm trying to give to you guys. And let's keep reading. And it says, As for the rings, they were so high that they were dreadful, and their rings were full of eyes round about them four. 
now if you click the tools on here we're gonna go into here and net let's go into this word uh, ring alright it says as for the ring rings okay and the word for that is gob Strong's H 1354 Gav Gav so the Hebrew word is Gaba Gaba if I'm it's like if I'm mistaken Gab or Gaba Gab alright and uh, the word is a uh, curvic suffix back back of man mound that's why you have to go into words and our elders express on to us that we have to go into these words man we have the tools to go into it you'll get more understanding when you go into these words and take out it says boss curvix, curvix projection of shield bulwark breastwork or argument fig brow eyebrow rim of wheel now what I wanted to go into was right here at the suffix it says with the suffix uh, something gibbous something curved like an arc of an of a bow if you go back here this is curved as arc of is curved but we're gonna get deeper that's not what I wanted to point out this right here if you click the the entry button the second entry here it says back boss of a shield now I seen this you have to look it up alright so the only thing I did was take it and go into Google and I typed in boss of shield and look what the pictures came up with okay it came up it comes up with a, a capstone on shields on your leather st sh shield there'll be a capstone for the top of your shield alright and the elders have brought this out is just the top if you look at this UFO craft what does that look like it looks like a capstone of a shield alright the capstone of a shield that's what Ezekiel was describing now let's go back to Ezekiel and read it this is Ezekiel 1 and uh, verse 18 it says as for the rings they were so high as the boss of the shield so put boss of the shield as ring was so high it says and uh, as for the boss of the shield or the ring they were so high that they were dreadful high so it says high in the sky it was flying the object was flying so we know back in history there was no flying objects back then but these these crafts or these chariots okay and it says as for the rings they were so high that they were dreadful and their rings were full of eyes round about them for the eyes could have been lights okay I, I'm not I'm I, I tell in part alright but I'm saying look the, the eyes could have been lights round about it especially if it's a dark time when the ships light up man okay and we know them these these chariots that they're gonna have windows in them because that's what we're gonna look out to see the destruction of Babylon alright so these is what we're gonna be taking up in man who knows what they'll look it, there's a ray of a ray of them the most I has man okay you look at the fish in the, in the in the sea and see the diversity man we can't we can't begin to fathom the mind of the most high man we need not to man okay it, it, it's gonna be a, a beautiful time we live in to be to who Lord willing we be whoever saved by this man and and, and preserve through this time the elect the hundred and forty four thousand and one third of Israel okay so um that's pretty much the thing I wanted to point out. Boss of the shield, your brothers go in and look, look deeper into it. But right there, you can see that this is a. I'm not saying this could be a drone. This could be a chariot. This could be actual real life, a uh, 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 a real captain of a captive, or captivation of a chariot. I'm not telling what is and what not, but I'm just showing you brothers the information, and you use your spiritual discernment with it. All right. So I'm just giving you what's in the scriptures and to my knowledge and understanding. And I hope you brothers were edified. So I'll praise the Yahweh by Shimi Shai. Double honest to our elders at GMS. Much love to you, brother. Shalom.